Ryzen 40 and Ryzen versus Bellator. New Year's Eve, or depending where you are in the world, it's going to be on New Year's Day. <clears throat> Very interesting event. I think the Ryzen 40, which was the introduction, I guess, or the prelim lead card, whatever you want to call it, pretty exciting with all finishes. Uh, very unlike the, the, the Rising versus Bellator card. But let's get into it, man. Let's get into it. Johnny, Johnny Case. Three and three. I think he was on a three fight losing streak. And it was a. Oh, I think it was a last minute opponent change. I'm not too sure exactly why. The commentary team, who are quite interesting. One of them is a Canadian, and the other one is Australian. I thought they were quite monotone in their approach, but maybe that's how, you know, the. Uh, production team wanting so very 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 quick finish first round knocked out by punches um mr i can't pronounce him is it uh no boops whatever tyson little tyson you you got knocked out clean first round dance was done um Second fighter was no last before we get into the second fight. The third fight was a um some strange boxing fight where um even the commentators didn't know what on earth was going on, whether it was gonna be mixed martial arts or <laughs> or what. One of the fighters came out in just running shoes. Literally just running shoes with no ankle support or anything on there. That was um What's his name? Ginji. And he was, he, uh, he's got a whole heap of experience. He had like, I don't know, five times as much experience as the, the young guy who kept on, for the, again, for the VT. But little introductions, you know, sh you know, promoting the fighters, showing their previous fights. So it was all in, it was all in Japanese and there was no English dub over to really get the feeling, but he, he, he seems real young and he's got an attitude because he kept on putting his mega middle finger up and his, his coaches were even doing it in the actual ring itself. It was quite interesting. He actually came out more prepared for the boxing fights. But, uh, and I think it was only two rounds as well. It wasn't even a three-round boxing fight. Um and the little youngster was just putting it on him. He was tagging the hell out of him. And second round, he got the flipping knockout. <laughs> so, yes, uh, another finish. Rewinding back to the second fight, Yuki Motoya. Very clinch heavy first and second round. Uh, Rogerio took a nasty... I guess you called it like a teeth kick. It was a kick down the middle that got him in the stomach. And then he immediately rushed in and got knocked out. Knocked out stiff with any second round KO. Um, who else we got? Who else we got? We got Suzuki, Nakahara, defeated by, again, Naka in the very first round. Sue Patrick. Um, again, first round, Naka... Couldn't really call that a TKO to be fair, rather than a knockout. Uh, Bay Noah. It was just nothing but finishes. Uh, who else we got? Who else we got? John Dodson made his his rising debut, and <laughs> there was clearly a, a 
height difference for his opponent. Not as bad as the um, El Matador in one. With Gustavo, not like that, but pretty close, pretty close. Speed was clearly there and was very apparent that John, as he generally always is, is the quicker and faster fighter. And he took full advantage of the rule set. He was going for he was going for soccer kicks, everything. He was he was doing it, man. Quick but decisive KO victory. And he's, you know, he's saying he wants to do some more work in the uh, in the ring. So let's see his career progress throughout that there. Um Sikawa. Izawa defeated. And it was a very close fight. Si Wu Park. And this is, I think, is it the third time that they're fighting there? Or the second time they fought? First round was clearly, and this is a global rule set as well, so this isn't unified rules. So it's by it is entirety of the fight. But first round was clearly um, Izawaza. Izawa. Second round was a lot more competitive, and I think Suwu Park may have edged that out. But the third round was very, very competitive as well. And I think, I don't know, I, I think Suwu got the win, you know. As I say, very close, but if you leave it in the hands of the judges, that's what can happen. Then we move on to the main card. Oh, let's not forget the interesting interludes. They had like little teenagers in the ring doing break dancing and stuff. Very rudimentary stuff they were doing. But um, I, I found that quite interesting. And what else was there? What else was there? Um... Yeah, in the, the, the interludes are interesting, to say the least. Production value altogether, in regards to the end product, what we see, I think they could learn one or two things from one championship. Um, but yeah, it was a good card. It was a good card. Uh, Haraguchi defeated, again, this is where we go with the unanimous decision stuff and the split decisions. Haraguchi defeated um what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Ori Kubu Kubu and Yeah, it wasn't a unanimous victory. He he definitely put in the work. There was no question in reference to that. Um uh, one Archuleta defeated by a split decision. That was competitive, very competitive back and forth. Su Chul Kim. If this is a good, this was another very competitive back and forth. Um, Gasi Hai, Gadzi Hai, uh, and Koji Tekdawa. First round, yes, I would say for for uh, Gatsi. And it was an interesting. They were both gassed towards the end of the fight. First round, he almost took him out. He knocked him down. Um, and we thought, I, I thought that it would have been a first round sort of finish. But Kuji is tough, man. He's tough. He took a, a straight punch, fell down into the ropes, took a knee, took another slight knee, and stumbled back. Um. He's got some heart, man. He's got some heart. I made it to manage to leave it all the way up to a, well, make it up to a unanimous decision. Patricio Pitbull, Kleber, unanimous decision. Um, Pitbull was just a lot more um, aggressive, putting on more um, punches and stuff. And more damage, I think, was scored. 
Kleber was very, I don't know. He was very, uh, clearly he was looking for submissions and stuff and he, he slicked down there. But he needs to evolve his 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 game. He was just getting backed up into the corners and wasn't really doing much. He wasn't really firing. He was being very defensive. His offense, if he was more offensive, he could have, you know, made it a lot more competitive from a, a athlete and a um, promotion versus promotion standpoint. AJ McKee defeated Roberto de Souza. That was that was competitive as well. That was a competitive back and forth. Uh, damage, I think, ultimately got AJ that victory. It was very close, very close. But Bellator got the clean sweep. They took out all of the competitors. Um, it was a nice event, ultimately a nice event. It shows, I think, it, it does show the level of, of competition. I think that if we had a one versus Ryzen, we would have exactly the same thing, but I think we'd have all finishes like the uh, the early cards. But yes, enjoyed it. What are your thoughts? Like, comment, subscribe, share, and uh, happy Gregorian 2023.